and we've got fabulous Nile leather shoes here at the Shopping Channel. And this is a, a very much an environmentally conscious line, not just from the shoes, but from uh, the, the recycled boxes, the soy-based inks, the reusable shoe bag, uh, the natural renewable resources that you'll find in the different shoes. Rebecca Nixon is my guest. She is a style and shoe expert. And up next, we have the pump with the ankle strap. This one's 580779. And we are offering this one from the Naya collection today in a taupey neutral, in navy, or in a really pretty, almost like a raspberry sorbet mm -hmm. pink. And this one's priced at 182.67. We have it on the four easy pays of 45.67. I'm looking at this and just thinking about your comment about color, Rebecca. Yes. How nice it is that to was have some color. foreshadowing. Yes. <laughs> and uh, love the little flower. It's almost uh, makes me think a little bit of a, a Spanish or a flamenco dancer shoe. Exactly. I was thinking these actually remind me kind of of a 20 shoe as well. The yes. silhouette of them, which yes. is really nice. The offset flower is so nice. Um, and then it has those little bamboo on the center of it to make them the center of the flower, which I think is really nice added detail. And then the petals, and when you look closely at this, you can just see the detail that's put into the style. So even taking away, you know, not just the sustainability of all these shoes and the comfort aspects that we've put into them, but you can just see the design aspects are so thought of, the contrast stitching going all the way around, and then in this really feminine ankle strap adjustable and you can move it around which is really nice you can take it completely out if you don't want it there but it's a really nice style aspect which is really great so feminine and then look at the heel so that natural stacks heel which is so nice again has that earthy feel to it but has real nice femininity about it at the same time I'm Stop telling you, this, this show is worth getting up for. The shoes are beautiful. And wait till you see these ones on. They are so feminine. As you said, kind of 20s inspired. Mm -hmm. I'm still seeing from my time in, in Spain many years ago, watching the flamenco dancers and just that silhouette a little bit coming through here. Yes. And there's something sensual and ladylike about these shoes. Exactly. They're just so feminine. Yet they have these really fun, I love the offset flower. I think it adds a little bit of attitude to it. I know, I love that it. too. And then again, if you look at the outsole here, you can see it's completely infused here, so it's going to be biodegradable of the materials that are inside of the rubber. Completely flexible here as well. You have that traction, which is really, really great. So all of those aspects. And then you can look at this shoe. You can see right away, there it is. The comfort. Yes. So you can see this is not just cushioning. This is added cushioning. We have cushioning over here. And then great perforated cushion right where you need it the most at the arch of your foot where you need that breathability so you have that added support right there these this particular shoe everyone has the cutest colors so the mm -hmm. one that rebecca's holding right now we're calling it pink but it does kind of remind me of raspberry sorbet raspberry is the perfect raspberry puree sorbet. it's a really good way to a describe berry it tone. it can take on the red it can take on the pink very easily even it could even maybe go into a little bit of coral but exactly. it, it makes me think of raspberry and this is the prettiest navy are you familiar with the gemstone Iolite? It's like a midnight yes. blue, the Viking gemstone. Mm -hmm. the, this is the color of the navy. It's really beautiful. And navy, people are always requesting blue shoes. It's probably one of our biggest requests that we get really? sometimes. You know, people like it for weddings, and navy is such a hard shoe to come by that you, when you see a navy shoe, you almost have to grab it because you don't see them often, yet people love having a navy pump in their Well, wardrobe. that to me is such a pretty shade of blue. Mm -hmm. I also really like, Rebecca, the contrast stitching that acts as flattering seams, uh, like tailoring to the shoe. Exactly. And then you've got that offset flower, the ankle strap, the, the stacked heel. Don't forget, we also have it in what we're calling the taupe, which to me, now how would you describe that? It's very creamy, natural uh, feel to it. It's kind of like a butter feel to it almost. Yes. It's kind of like milky tea. Yes. You know, when you put a lot of milk in tea. Uh, and we'll show you the third color again in just a sec. But take a look at these on Shona. Again, Naya is known for being an environmentally com uh, conscious company, but also designing really beautiful footwear and comfortable footwear. And I think those that, the, the three combination there is fantastic to be able to have top marks in, in all three categories. Exactly. You know, we don't need to sacrifice in our styling when we bring in styles that are comfortable and then, you know, environmentally friendly. You know, you think environmentally friendly, you might not think of complete fashion footwear, but that's really what the Naya line really represents is bringing, you know, it's fashion first and then making that fashion sustainable and comfortable at the same time. I was just looking at some Canadian design kind of retro sundresses in my mm -hmm. neighborhood. 
and these shoes would be fantastic with them. They are absolutely ladylike with a little bit of sensuality, with a little bit of fun with the color. Now there is the one that we're calling again uh, the taupe. Don't forget we have the raspberry pink or that beautiful Iolite navy. And again, sizes 6 through 10, half sizes as well. All right. We're gonna